I recently went and did a seven-day full immersion IFR course with GATS out of Manhattan, Kansas. With the way that I like to learn, I figured it was best for me to go and just really dedicate seven days of doing this type of training. And I was absolutely amazed with their training methods and how quickly you were able to do things when you had this full immersion methodology. One of the great things about training in Manhattan is Manhattan is a class D airport, but you also have Marshall GCA from Fort Riley, Kansas, literally right next door. So they take care of most of your uh, local radar services. But what makes this great is Marshall GCA has the ability to do what is a PAR, a Precision Approach Radar Approach. Uh, And this is an approach that if you literally lost every instrument in your cockpit, they could talk you down. I'd heard about it in my training, but I had never really imagined that I would do it. But I had the chance to do this PAR approach. And so this video is the cockpit audio along with some GoPro 360 of me doing this approach during my training. So I'm, I'm under the foggles in this. I did not do this approach very well. Uh, but, you know, the reality is, had it been a really bad IFR day and had I lost all my instruments, they would have gotten me down. I have no doubt about it. And I'm happy to know that this is something that is available. And so here you go. If you've never seen a PAR approach and what that looks like, here, here it is for you. Clear to Florida, proper Roger, stand by Marshall Fine Controller. I was using 64 Delta Papa Marshall Fan and Controller. How do you hear me? I hear you five by five. You're loud and clear also. Uh, make half standard rate turns on final and do not acknowledge further transmissions. Uh, this will be a low approach. Eight and a quarter miles uh, from a uh, touchdown well right, of course, and correcting slowly. Turn right. Stop turn. Approaching the glide path wheel should be down. Turn right. Stop turn. And continue uh, uh, the right turn. You're going well left to course now. Stop turn. Turn right. Seven miles from touchdown. Stop turn. Begin descent. On glide path. Turn right. Six miles from touchdown. On glide path. Well left, of course. On glide path. Stop turn. Slightly above the glide path. Coming down slowly, well left to course correcting slowly. Runway four, wind zero five zero at three, clear for low approach. Five miles from touchdown, above the glide path and holding, well left to course correcting slowly. On the glide path. Four miles from touchdown, stop turn, and continue the left turn. Make half standard rate turns on final. On glide path, three and one half miles from touchdown. Going below the glide path now, going uh, slightly below the glide path and holding. I've still got you in a left turn, uh, going well right of course now. Three miles from touchdown. Verify you're still in a left turn. Verify left turn. Slightly below the glide path. Two and a half miles from touchdown. Below the glide path and coming up slowly. Two and a half miles from touchdown. Below the glide path and holding. Turn right. One and one half miles from touchdown, slightly below the glide path and coming up slowly now. Stop turn. On glide path. Turn right. On glide path. One 
One mile from touchdown, verify you have the runway in sight. All right, we got it. Runway in sight, four Delta Papa. Sierra Togo 4, Delta Papa, Roger, you're at decision eight. Proceed visually, remain this frequency for departure. Uh, remain visual and uh, remain with you on this frequency. Kind of Fox zero, Roger. Climbing team 4,000, passing 3,000, proceed direct, Michael. Okay. We kind of snaked around the final perch course like this. Yeah. 